Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing before you leave. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Shout out to my premiere squad for watching with me right now. In my 10 year YouTube anniversary video, I told you guys that I was going to do my favorite Outre wigs of all time, as well as my favorite sensational wigs of all time. I'm gonna be doing giveaways for you guys because of uh, to celebrate my 10 years on YouTube because these are the companies I started out with and I still rock hard with so yeah So I compiled a list of my absolute favorite Outre wigs of all time And I'm gonna start off with my favorite drop of all time like of course it was the 2019 drop of the of the Nisha wigs. So the original Nisha came out in 2016. It was very popular on YouTube um, but I didn't review it until like 20 18 until 2018 I don't think and then in 2019 the uh, Nisha relaunch dropped and I remember I collabed with is that your hair and I'm pretty sure Shanice Nicole she dropped her video on Thanksgiving as well and it was like such a big deal in the wig streets it was like the craziest release of all time in my opinion because everybody was trying to get their hands on it and it was just really cool to be a part of that whole situation. It was a lot of fun. Like the wig streets aren't as like crazy and fun as they used to be around that era, but I still love my synthetic wigs. But that was such a good drop there. So they had Nisha 201, 202, and 203, and I got all those. And I feel like I have gone beyond those wigs now because I feel like a lot of companies know how to do yakky textures a lot better as far as like, yes, give us texture, but don't make it too poofy. That was the, the most fun of the releases of any synthetic wig in my opinion. I've been around for a long time, so I don't think it's ever, ever been that crazy on any drop. It was like people had to wait months to get them and everything. It was crazy. Um, my favorite collections by Outre, the Melted Hairline series, because they do have a lot of my favorite wigs. And I didn't like the Perfect Hairline series at first, but the wigs that they have started to release, the Perfect Hairline series, in the last like two or three, probably in the last two years, I really like them. I haven't tried a lot of wigs from their, is it 360 collection? I haven't tried a lot of wigs from their like human hair blend collection that they have which is like I think it's their highest their highest tier for synthetic wigs. I have tried one that's on this list that's one of my favorites. So, everybody who watches my channel, you probably you guys probably know by now, but for probably 8 years of my channel, I was saying Outre because that's just what everybody said until one day I was working with them and I DM'd them and I was like, "So, how do you actually pronounce your company's name?" And they said and I was like, is it Outre or Outre? And they said, it's Outre. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna program my brain to say this over? But now I'd say it naturally. And if you Google the term Outre, which is like different or something like that, it's, it's Outre. If you see it typed out, it's, it's Outre. So um, that's the actual way to pronounce it. And it's so funny. Uh, I had a Outre wig go viral on a lot of different platforms. And a lot of people were trying to correct me and say like, you're saying it wrong, but I was like, I went to the source, okay? And they said it was Outre. But I'm gonna start with Outre Aaliyah. So I tried this wig back in 2020, and I think it was before the pandemic, like in January. And I got this honey blonde color mix. And those who watch my channel, you guys know I do not rock with blonde wigs that much. But this particular color mix was so beautiful. And every time I wore it, I feel like I got a lot of compliments on it, especially when I posted pictures and stuff. It was just a beautiful straight wig. Did it tangle? It tangled a lot. And I loved it so much, I cut it to a shorter length and it still was pretty. So that's one of my favorite wigs of all time from Outre and I wore it quite a bit. This and is actually like a, I think this is a converted cap wig. This is the Outre Bold and Irresistible wig. So. At the end of 2021, I worked with them to do a lookbook and this wig had me shook. It was so beautiful. So it had a back piece that was, um, you know, long and straight with a kinky straight texture. 
and then it came with a ponytail as well and this texture was so beautiful it's so pretty it reminds me of like Lizzo because Lizzo wears a lot of pretty ponytails and stuff like that it is so nice that if you like kinky straight textures and you want a and you want an easy style that's very playful definitely pick up this wig it's, it's so good it's so funny this this next wig I actually lost it in my collection because I didn't label it right and then after reorganizing my wigs I found it again um, and that is Outre Lynette so I got her in a color number two number two at the end of 2021 and I thought she was just that's probably one of my favorite bobs I'm gonna say that's one of my favorite bobs there um, it's a lob because it's a lot longer it's probably like 14 inches um, so it's a lob and not like a bob I just loved how sleek it was and then the hairline looked really really good and if I wore it today I think it, I would make it look even better because I feel like my skills get better every year I never tried Outre Lynette in the blonde mix that a lot of people got but I did get her in a color number two and that looked really good Outre Julianne I review her summer of 2020 and I remember just being like she was cute but she wasn't like one of my favorite wigs one because her her cap was uh, very small back then but I have one she's one of my most worn wigs I have in my collection and it doesn't feel tight now because I've worn her so much but um I think I cut the adjustable straps out to make it work for my big head but now it just looks so natural like if you wear wigs, you know, sometimes you'll be paranoid if your lace looks good in real life. I never have to worry about that with Outre Julianne because the I just worn, I've worn her so many times and the way that this lace looks and everything, it just looks so real. I do have it in black, but I haven't gotten her together yet. But I had mine in a, I think I got it in a D, like a chocolate swirl color. I think so and that's probably one of my most worn wigs and I do have a type I do like textured wigs um, and I like straight wigs a lot too there are no curly wigs on this list because I'm just not like I don't know if I I don't have a favorite curly wig from Outre but all of these are kind of like body wave straight or just a textured wig in general Outre Katia that was one of my favorite wigs of 2021 and it's so crazy I bought that one at the top of 2021 and I didn't review it until like October of that year and I was like how have I been sitting on one of my favorite wigs ever I still wear that wig to I still wear that wig to this day like I wore it to an event in January and I have human hair wigs and I decided to wear that synthetic wig and it was so nice I have worn that so much that's one of my favorite straight wigs I love that one so much it has a gorgeous texture honestly it rivals a lot of my human hair uh, like yakky straight kinky straight wigs that I have it's just a more affordable wig and of course it, it I'm gonna okay I have so many wigs my wigs my synthetic wigs actually last a very long time even if I wear them a lot so I've had the same Julianne for for going on three years and I have some other brands of synthetic wigs I've had for two and three years and some I don't know if I have any that are older than that though but yeah most of my wigs last like a year or two because I have so many that I can rotate them out with so that's one you know thing I've learned over the years yes synthetic wigs don't last as long as human hair wigs but if you rotate them with different wigs and not wear the same one every day it's gonna last a long time so and then we have the wig that I have on today okay so I actually initially tried this in 2020 during the headband wig trend and I wore it with a headband and I did not blend my hair and it was cute and you can definitely still do that but in 2023 I've been a leave out girly okay so I blended my hair with Outre Nisha H301 and I have this one in the color number two but um, the one I initially showed you guys at the beginning of March, I believe, was S1B30. And that was that was very pretty as well, but this number two matches my hair to a T, okay? And you just can't beat black. I just love black hair, okay? I'll take this over blonde any day. 
I just am blown away with how this just looks. It just looks so natural. It does have a few cons, like it has like crazy flyaways that you have to tame. But other than that, the texture is beautiful. Even though this is a, even though this is a kinky, straight blowout kind of texture, it's not hard. It's a nice soft texture and it's just beautiful. It's beautiful and I love this length on me as well. One of my favorite wigs ever from Outre. Outre Marissa. This is one of the only wigs from the like 360 collection, the human hair blend collection. Um, and I had it in a blonde color. I told you guys I'm not a big fan of blonde, but this particular color mix, I forgot what it is. What? Okay, DRFF2 Vanilla Chocolate. They don't have a lot of wigs in that color. And they should because it's such a sophisticated blend. And Outre leads the way with some of the best color mixes they have for years now. Um, and I really love that color mix. And it's a straight light yakky texture on the wig. I do have it in the color number two. I was thinking about wearing it today. Um, but I was like, I don't feel like fooling with lace. So I wore this half wig here. That is such a nice wig. I love it so much. And I wore that for like three or four days straight and I slept in it, which is a big deal because I don't sleep in my wigs. I take them off every single night because I don't like the feeling of having of having something on my head. But I slept in that one. I slept in that one. So, and then we have Utre Kamalia. I reviewed her in 2021 and she was just like, a, she's pretty long, super long. A side part wig from the Outre Melted Hairline series, which is one of my favorite. I got it in a color 1B. I like number twos, but when it comes to lace wigs, I can get away with 1Bs because I don't have any of my hair out. You no, know, a nice 1B, it's a vibe. Like, it's, it's, it's dark and beautiful. I love a 1B, but for a natural look, I go with a number two. But I got Kamalia in a 1B and I did an update on her in 2022, like towards the end. I revived her with my Simply Style and Silicone Spray because she was tangled. And I cut her a little bit because I wanted a shorter look. And she is absolutely beautiful. I wore her, I think I wore her to celebrate my birthday with my parents, with like with my parents and stuff in 2021. Because if you watch that review, I was talking about that in that video. And it looked good. It looks very natural. And I'm usually kind of really iffy about wearing lace front wigs like to events and around family and stuff because I wanted to look very realistic and that one looked really good. And lastly, I want to say one of my favorite Outre wigs of all time. And if you know me, you know. It's going to be Outre Kamaya. Kamaya hit the scene in 2020 around the time when the headband wig trend was popping off. And I was wearing nothing but headband wigs, but then they dropped this one and it brought me back. I remember still looking good, 58. She told me about this and I was just like, I gotta get it. And I think I, to this day, have like three different Kamayas in my collection. She is so beautiful. It's a simple barrel curl, light yakky wig that's a little bit on the longer side. It's like 20 inches or so, but she's perfection to me. And I haven't worn her in a while. I need to wear her again because I like that vibe. I think I might wear her this weekend. She's she's a vibe. She's so beautiful. And it's been it's tons of wigs that look like that, but that one just looks so good. And the lace melted down beautifully. I in my collection I think I still have cinnamon mocha, which is gorgeous. Um, which is a gorgeous like reddish brown color. Then I have ginger ginger brown or something like that is gorgeous and then I have a color number two of course gotta have a number two um so those are my absolute favorite outre wigs of all time uh tell me down below if we share any wigs in common that are like we both have favorite wigs in common from outre let's get into this giveaway I'm gonna be giving away five outre wigs to you guys um shout out to outre for sponsoring this giveaway I reached out to them and they, they said they wanted to help with this giveaway and I really appreciate them. If you didn't know, Outre was the first company to actually pay me back in 2016 when I was uh, doing YouTube part time. Shout out to Outre for um, rocking with me over the years and sponsoring this giveaway to you guys. 
So I'm gonna tell you guys all the wigs that I will be giving away. It's gonna be five different wigs and I'll have all the uh, rules in the description box. So make sure to follow them to a T, okay? So the first one is going to be Outre Nisha 201 in the DRFF Honey Brown color. This is one of the wigs that I featured in 2019. So I was like, I was part of a, a really big movement that year. And so I wanted to give away this and in that particular color because this color mix was beautiful. This is another blonde mix that I rock with because it's not like too yellow. It's more warm and subtle. DRFF Honey Brown Nisha 201. Then I just start, I just was gushing over Kamaya. So I have Utre Kamaya from the uh, Melted Hairline series in a color 1B. I have it in a 1B here for the 1B lovers. Uh, but you, any color Kamaya comes in, it's gonna be beautiful. Then we have Utre Kamaya again, but in a color number two. Oh, and she's 22 inches. I don't think they used to have that on the card back in the day, but she's 22 inches. So I have it in a color number two as well. I have Utre Nisha 202, and this was a look on me. I wore it in my 20, what year was that? The, I wore it in my 2019 wig favorites video where I had all the wig bays and stuff in that video. I have her in the color number two. So Nisha 202 in the color number two. And lastly, we have Outre Nisha 203 in the color DRFF Butterscotch. Okay, so this color, everybody was like, oh, that color looks so good on you. But I'm not, y'all know, I don't like yellow blonde like that, but Y'all said it was fire me, so for I wanted to get a color that was for the more eccentric and bold ladies out there. So I got the I got the DRFF2 slash butterscotch color for somebody who loves a blonde. Okay. So if you are interested in the giveaway, read the rules. And especially if you've been rocking with me a long time, I highly encourage you to into the giveaway because I like to celebrate people that been rocking with me or even if you're active like recently I really appreciate you guys uh engaging with me and talking to me and showing up to my premieres and stuff and with these giveaways I want to honor you guys with that because without you guys we wouldn't grow on this channel or any other platform so shout out to Utre again for sponsoring the giveaway and shout out to you guys for rocking with me all these years and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys